Hey guys, welcome to The Fumble. I'm Britt Johnson. For more sports news and commentary, make sure you click subscribe and follow me on all social media at I am Britt Johnson. In the NBA, we are always debating who the best players in the world are, but a lot of the guys we see in the league weren't necessarily the greatest, just the ones that made it. It's time to break down my list of some of the greatest basketball players that never made it. This first player is the reason why guys like NFL quarterback Patrick Mahomes aren't allowed to play basketball. Jay Williams, who is drafted with the second overall pick of the 2002 NBA draft by the Chicago Bulls. The Duke alum did make it to the league and played one season with the team. He was inconsistent throughout the season, but did manage to show promise, racking up a triple-double against the Nets. Shortly after the regular season, on June 19, 2003, the young baller got in an accident on his motorcycle. He wasn't wearing a helmet and wasn't licensed to ride in Illinois. His injuries included a severed main nerve in his leg, fractured pelvis, and three dislocated ligaments in his left knee, including his ACL. A week later, the Bulls drafted his replacement and he was waived never playing in the NBA again. But he does get to live in the NBA world as a commentator on ESPN. Next, we have an even sadder story than the last. Hank Gathers. Hank started his college career at USC before transferring to LMU, where he played several seasons before the unthinkable happened. In December of 1989, Gathers collapsed during a game, and after tests were done, he was told he had an abnormal heartbeat and was placed on beta blockers. The beta blockers Gathers believed inhibited his play on the court, so without permission from doctors, he began to cut back on his dosage. Just a few months later, Gathers collapsed again on March 4th, 1990 during the first half of the game. He stopped breathing shortly after and was pronounced dead. He was expected to be a top draft pick that season. Lynn Baez is another story of a baller gone too soon. The 6'9 baller from Maryland was drafted second overall in the 1986 NBA draft by the Boston Celtics after being selected as a consensus first team All-American earlier that year. People compared Lynn to Michael Jordan who was drafted just a few years earlier and said Lynn was the next biggest thing to basketball. The baller was drafted on June 17th and went back to his dorms to celebrate with his friends in Maryland. At around 2 a.m. on June 19th, Lynn started having a seizure after he had sniffed mounds of cocaine with friends. He was pronounced dead at 8.55 a.m. due to a cocaine overdose. More than 11,000 people attended his funeral. Last but certainly not least, we have Pee Wee Kirkland, who took a different route to basketball fame. Pee Wee was not only one of the most popular street ballers, but he also was a drug kingpin out of New York. He played basketball at a community college in North Carolina where he averaged 41 points per game before being offered a scholarship at Norfolk State College. Rumor has it he turned down an offer to play in the NBA with the Chicago Bulls because he didn't think he would make as much money in the NBA as he did selling drugs. He spent a good chunk of his early adult life in and out of prison, but this story does have a happy ending. He got his master's degree, became a motivational public speaker, and even had an acting role as the Georgetown recruiter in the basketball classic Above the Rim. So what other basketball stars can you name that never made it? Let me know in the comments below. I'm your host, Britt Johnson for The Fumble, and I'll see you soon.